welcome to another video by Fabricable Garage. In today's video, we're going to be uh, starting the process of doing the rear end bearings in my 1988 Honda 4Trax 300 4x4. I just recently picked this up off of Facebook for uh, a pretty good deal. Starts and runs great. And it's drives at, it still drives, but the rear differential and the front wheel bearings are pretty sad. Uh, I'll show you here. If you look, it's not supposed to do that. Basically, the, uh, the bearings in the diff are bad. And I had checked the the oil in here and there's no oil it's just mud which is basically just the seals went bad and all the oil leaked out and mud got in which made the seal the bearings go bad as you can see i got the tire off on this side uh i've done rear bearings before but not on this particular four wheeler uh normally one side comes undone and you pull it through but on these four wheelers they have axle nuts on both sides I'm going to start with just taking off one side and just see what happens if I have to take off the other. It's no big deal. This side, uh, it was regular threads. I'm not sure on this side if it's going to be reverse threads or not. Let me focus real quick. So we'll just see how it goes. The only unfortunate thing is the previous owner welded the hubs on. So we're going to have to grind those welds off. Um, we'll probably end up welding them back on. Just because the right thing would be to, if the hub is, the splines are stripped, to replace the hub or replace both. But we'll probably just, like I said, just weld it back. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. We'll, once we get this off, then we'll take the drum off and go from there. We got the, the weld ground off on this. It was actually pretty easy. It's the hub that's bad, but we'll, like I said, we'll probably just uh, re-weld it when this is all said and done. Once you get that side off, you get those two axle nuts off. Like I said, they're regular thread. I don't know about this side. I don't know if we'll have to take that side off. But what you'll do is there's a bunch of 8 millimeter bolts that take this side cover off. Once you get that off, you need to get your drum off. And there shouldn't be nothing holding that. Sometimes the brake shoes will kind of hold it. So you got to like push the brake shoe in. And you can release the uh, uh, the brake cables to let the, the cam bolt like completely center. So that it's as small as possible. Once you slide that off. Uh, then you can go ahead and take your brake shoes off. Which those just pop right off. And then there's four... Uh, 14 millimeter bolts one two here two underneath once you get those off this part will actually come free um, You can get it completely off by taking these cables out which I believe you just uh, Push the cable through that way and then pull it out, but I can't seem to quite get it So I'm just not going to worry about it uh, but Once you get those four bolts and that you want to take your shock off, which is also two 14 millimeter, a bolt and a nut, and I'll take that off. And then there's four here, which I'm on the last one right now. So it's really just eight. Uh, let's see, it's almost off. It's really just eight bolts that hold your rear end on. Once you do that, it should uh, come off. See, trying to do this with one hand. All right, there we go. But then this will come off just like that. It'll come free, and then we can slide this axle out. Let's move this. We're gonna slide that axle out and get to everything and then we can start disassembling it uh, for right now I'm gonna just leave it together as is we'll just get this guy off real quick 
just to show you that it's completely separated. Uh, trying to do this one handed. Sorry for the shaky camera. Oh. Let me get this axle knot off. Alrighty, and that is the axle completely out. Uh, your one bearings over here, the rest of them will be all in here. And once, oh yeah, you can see that is, oh, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see, if you can see that? That's not supposed to do that at all. So these bearings are totally trashed all throughout, and this isn't supposed to be mud. So, yeah, we'll, uh, Probably once I get the all the bearings ordered and stuff, we'll continue this. Um, I'll probably have a part two to the video. I'll show you disassembling and putting all the bearings in. Uh, but that's, for this first part, that's how you get the axle out. Um, it's pretty easy. You can do it all with hand tools. The only thing, like I said, for my case, that was unfortunate was this being welded on. Uh, but yeah, so I'll leave it here and... Alrighty, so uh, I took a little bit of a closer look. I just took this middle section off right here, just these four bolts, uh, which I'll go more in depth in the next part. Um, but I just wanted to go over, come to find out, taking this little section off, that we are going to have to grind off this side of the hub and undo these axle nuts, because from the looks of it, when you do this side, this part comes off, and then the... Uh, I guess this tube could go with either side, but uh, the actual diff with the pinion and the ring go on this side. So probably next video we'll go ahead and take care of doing that, and then we'll go and do all the bearings. Um, and then after that, we'll do a walk around. We also still need to do uh, front bearings on the fuller, which I'll show you how to do that as well. Um, but yeah. If you like the video, drop a like. If you have any questions or comments or anything you want to ask, leave a comment. If you like the channel, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And check out the, the other videos and we'll see you next time. Smash that like button. Yeah.